Welcome to part three of the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. It is so weird seeing Triple H without the Intercontinental Championship. It got taken away from him at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view two weeks ago. Triple H lost the title to Rob Van Dam. And after that match, RVD was celebrating, partying like RVD always does. But the main reason why because of this man, Randy Orton. He lost the title match between Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. And then he got thrown out, out of the Rumble. He got backstage so pissed off. And he found RVD celebrating with the title. He spit in his face, punted it in his skull, and threw him into a table. It was out cold. And the SmackDown GM, The Rock, had to vacate the title, and here we are. The IC title up for grabs, vacated. We got this man, Randy Orton, and six competitors inside that Elimination Chamber that turn with a new Intercontinental Champion as we're on their road to WrestleMania. And here is the glorious one, Robert Roode, who defeated Pete Dunne to get the last spot in a pod in the chamber match. So we got Triple H, Randy Orton, Samoa Joe did not need to qualify, but Robert Roode had to, and he defeated Pete Dunne to get the last spot in the chamber match. Let's see who else will be inside a pod. Oh man, Samoa Joe, no longer the enforcer for Triple H. That partnership is out the window. After the title lost at the Rumble and on SmackDown, Triple H told Samoa Joe, I need to win the Chamber match. And Joe said, no way. He put him with Kikita Clutch. Triple H tapped out immediately. Joe is heavy favorite in this matchup. That Kikita Clutch, nobody, I mean nobody in this series has got out of it. As Samoa Joe surveys the scene, sees Triple H in a pod, you know he's coming for him. And here is Angel Garza who defeated the Rated R Superstar to get a spot, but not inside a pod. They're going to start the match. After an incredible win in his career, probably the biggest win he'll ever get in WWE until this match. If he can go all the way and claim the Intercontinental Championship and going into WrestleMania as Garza enters the chamber. And everybody knows who he's facing one on one for a couple minutes. It is the giant Colossus Omos. He defeated Umberto Carrillo right after Andrew Garza defeated Edge. Omos might be another favorite in this matchup. Thank God's not in a pod because we had to reinforce that pod and the height of it. Omos is over 7 feet tall, at least 400 pounds or more. This man is a giant for a reason. The heavy favorite. His partner AJ Styles won the Royal Rumble. He's going to WrestleMania to fight for the World Heavyweight Championship or the WWE Championship. He's not made up his mind yet. But can you imagine Omos going into WrestleMania as Intercontinental Champion and AJ Styles walking out as the World Champion? As Omos almost hits his head on the entrance of the chamber. We're going to start this match off. It's for the vacated Intercontinental Championship. Omos and Garza starts it off. And here we go. Garza wants revenge. Oh, and Omos takes him down. Angel Garza. This man trying everything. Oh, no. Omos right to work on Angel Garza here. Put him in the corner. Oh my god, it's gonna be a short match for Angel Garza. Just like Umberto Carrillo in that match was. It was a couple of minutes. And right after Edge got defeated by Angel Garza. But Garza now in the punishment of his life against Omos. But by Garza pushing him away over the top rope onto the padded floor. And where is the old chamber? Structure. I'm not sure. I couldn't find it. it. Wouldn't let me change 
to like the 2000s elimination chamber. I deal with this nonsense padding flooring. We don't do that. But fortunately, we have to. The game won't let us change it. Hopefully, 2K23, when that comes out, we can do it for sure. But nonsense is a key word for an old boss. It's a nonsense for him. He shouldn't be in this match. He should be given the IC title. As Garza not even fighting back here. Oh, got a heart punch. Garza is not doing anything to ret retaliate or anything. Oh, Moss, a big boot to Angel Garza. You gotta be kidding me. Down goes Angel Garza. Not like this. Not like this. And it is not. Garza kicks out. Oh no, Omos is a pissed off giant. Angel Garza from reverse, which he does. The countdown is beginning. Let's see if you can help him. Oh, what a super kick. He's going to help him. Rude, Joe, Triple H, Randy. And it looks like Samoa Joe is entering the ring third. This is going to be intense. Samoa Joe tell him oh, Moss to stay down. Oh, like a Garza code breaker. What the hell is going on with Garza now? Got so much punishment coming for that cover on Omos. Oh, on Samoa Joe, excuse me. I look at Omos kicking down Samoa Joe. Uh oh, what's Garza doing? In the corner now. Angel Garza. Oh, what a kick. What a kick. Oh, what a slobber knocker of that move right there. And pushing down Samoa Joe across the floor. And now Garza elbow right to the head of Omos. And Omos getting back up to his feet. Angel Garza taking down Omos with a hurricane runner. As Joe. As Joe. The wing clipper. Submission hole? What the hell? I didn't know that was a thing. And they're just hugging it out. Garza now. But Joe getting out of it. Punches the skull. As Samoa Joe. Takes down. Oh Moss. Against the ropes. Big boot. Oh a senton. Samoa Joe. Takes down Garza. But I think he reversed. Oh no, he did almost land on his back and his neck. As Samoa Joe sees Omos getting back up. Good God, what a boot. Back up to his feet again. Oh, what a big boot. Takes him down. He's getting back up to his feet. Oh, what a close line. Takes him down. What a Joe. And here comes Robert Rue. The glorious one is in the ring. That's Angel Garza now. Oh, go what a punch. And Samoa Joe. Oh, look at Omos. As the, the shot Samoa Joe gave Garza, he's eliminated. And now Robert Roode and Samoa Joe. These two got some history. And in the cover. And I kick out. As Omos is busted open. Thumbs down to every man in this matchup. Look at Robert Roode. Goes down with Omos. Look at this. Omos oh, coming after Samoa Joe. Look at the blood flowing on Omos. And Robert Roode takes him down. Oh, what a super kick missed. Oh, down goes Robert Roode. Omos, oh, two, and not a three. Omos oh, can't believe it. Oh, it zigzag takes down Omos. That's Robert Roode. Now he's in the corner. Oh, a chop, a chop. And a clothesline, not taking down the big man down. That boot did. And now Samoa Joe. Got Robert Roode. Muscle buster. The Robert Roode. Takes him down. Out of the equation. Out of the chamber. One, two, and three. And now it's Omos and Samoa. Joe and Joe eats a boot by Omos. 
and a kick out. And who is up next? It's going to be Randy Orton or Triple H. We'll wait and find out here. But Joe, oh man, getting slammed to the mat. As either man's going to get in, it is going to be Triple H. And Omos goes down. And Triple H sees Samoa Joe. The threat in this matchup. Oh, goes down on top rope. Oh, what a knee. A knee by Samoa Joe. And now Joe, top of the shoulders, no reverses. And a clothesline. And that kick to his back. Uh oh, here we go. Top of the no. Triple H trying to throw Joe outside the ring. Not yet. Just on the top rope. And look at Omos going after Triple H. And a big chop over the top rope. Oh, the referee got in the way. Big boot. Referee. Gonna come back inside the ring and do something here. But Joe, top of the shoulders of Triple H. But elbows to Triple H. Oh, Moss. Trying to get some revenge right here. Oh, it's into the cage. And a DDT. In the cover now. And a kick out. And a kick out. Joe, Triple H back inside the ring. These two got unfinished business. And now Samoa Joe. Got Triple H in the corner. The former Intercontinental Champion. Oh, but in the corner, oh, Moss tests down Samoa Joe. That's Triple H, neckbreaker to Omos. Moss. And here comes the Viper, Randy Orton, our final competitor in this chamber match. Oh, what a knee. And the fans are blocking the view of the camera. And now Samoa Joe, oh, look at this. Partners of Evolution, Randy Orton and Triple H going at it here. And Omos, uh-oh, watch out. Omos now. Oh, could get a clutch by Joe. Nobody gets out of this. Nobody gets out of this. Samoa Joe going to put away Omos. And just like that, Omos is gone. As Randy Orton plummels Samoa Joe. And a kick for good measure. Now Randy Orton, suplex, and there comes Triple H, and a kick, and a boot. Uh oh, here we go, Joe, Randy go for a power bomb here. Oh no, not to the outside, not to the outside. Down it goes Joe, and Randy Orton sees Triple H in the corner, celebrating like he got to do something. And Joe, oh, power slam by Randy. Going for an RKO. They're going for an RKO. Down goes Samoa Joe. And in the cover. Joe, not eliminated. Not eliminated. Randy Orton. Oh, here we go. Oh, man. And a boot to Randy. And a boot to Triple H. Yeah, strikes to Triple H. And now Samoa Joe. Got him in the corner. Oh, big boot again. Taking down Randy. Samoa Joe taking Randy out of the equation. And now it leads to Samoa Joe with Triple H. Muscle buster. Down goes Triple H. Oh no, Randy trying to steal the win, trying to get rid of Triple H, but Joe wants Triple H for himself. Samoa Joe, go reverse by Triple H. Swing a neck breaker, takes down Triple H. And now, Randy trying to make the cover, but Joe's right there to stop him. Oh, go ahead, Joe. 
What the hell was that? What in the hell was that? Oh, down goes Joe again. He's getting back up. He's getting back up. Uh-oh, Joe. Got Randy. Oh, and to the pod. That's Triple H. Throws into him to the pod. Oh, no. What's going on here? Oh, face first on the corner of the pod. In a belly to belly. And a backbreaker by Randy. And in the cover. But Triple H wants Samoa Joe now. And a slap by Triple H to Randy. Randy goes down by Triple H. Uh oh. Uh oh. What the hell is this now? Oh, God. What a punch. And now Randy. Oh, takes down by Joe. And now Samoa Joe and Triple H in the middle of the ring. Oh, God. What an elbow. That's Triple H. Looking for a pedigree. Looking for a pedigree. Oh, reversed by Randy. Reversed by Randy. And a clothesline. Now, Samoa Joe not letting Randy go for the cover at all. Triple H might go down, but without Joe's permission. Oh, big boot. And a super kick to Triple H. Good God in heaven. Samoa Joe. Coquita clutch to Triple H. Coquita clutch. And now Triple H got to tap out. Triple H got to tap out. And Randy Orton looking for an RKO to Samoa Joe into the cover. But what the hell is going on here? Randy now into the cover, finally. And a kick out by Joe. Samoa Joe kicks out. And now Randy Orton stopping every body part of Samoa Joe. One of the favorites in this matchup, Samoa Joe. Just eliminated his former partner in Triple H. And now in the corner. Randy Orton. Looking for a soup. No, no. He's going for an avalanche RKO to Samoa Joe. Exclamation point inside the chamber. Takes down Samoa Joe with an avalanche RKO. Rolls him over into the cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. Randy Orton is her new Intercontinental Champion. And I cut over his eye. He does not care. He sees blood. But he can see the Intercontinental Championship for himself. Former United States Champion of this year. And now turns it around for the IC title. I took out RVD. And you know, RVD's gonna come back for a vengeance, but for how long? He might be out for a couple months. Manny is a month away, and Randy, the new Intercontinental Champion, at the end part three. Because thing in that match, Samoa Joe took out Triple H. Coquita Clutch, that move is dangerous. Joe put away his former partner in Triple H. Big update on that. You know Triple is going to be even more pissed. As Randy Orton holds that title over his shoulder. The new Intercontinental Champion. The Legend Killer. Is here on Smackdown as Champion. Once again in this series of Universe Mode. See you guys in part 4. Like and subscribe. Peace.